Welcome to Dexel's Clortitech Q4000 test kit instructional video. We'll start by laying out all of the kit components and make sure everything's there. Open test tube one and open the top of your oil sample. Take your sample syringe and work it back and forth a couple times to make sure it works smoothly. Put it in the oil sample, pull the plunger back to the preset stopping point. Wipe off any excess oil and dispense the oil into test tube 1. Replace the cap on test tube 1. Squeeze the sides of the test tube to break the bottom colorless ampule and shake it for 30 seconds. Next, break the gray colored top ampule, shake it vigorously for 20 seconds, then intermittently for 40 seconds for a total of 60 seconds. And you'll notice the inside of the test tube will be coated black. Remove the caps from both of the test tubes. And pour the free buffer solution from test tube two into test tube one, pinching the top of test tube two as you pour to prevent any components from coming out. Now replace the cap on test tube 1 and shake it for 10 seconds. Vent the pressure in, test, in the test tube by cracking the top. Retighten and shake it for another 10 seconds. Vent the tube again, retighten, and place it on its head. Set a timer for a full two minutes. During this two minute wait, You'll notice that the contents of the test tube will separate into two phases. The top phase is an oil phase and the bottom phase is an aqueous phase. And making the distinction between the two phases will be important in the next step. You can prepare for the next step by taking the filter funnel and placing it into the top of test tube 2. It's important to wait for the full two minutes. If the phases are not allowed to separate for the full two minutes, it could impact the final result of the test.
when two minutes is up, carefully lift up test tube one, being careful not to tip it over. You don't want those phases to remix. Open the dispensing cap and filter the bottom aqueous layer only into the filter funnel. You want to try not to get any of the top oil layer into that filter funnel. And you're going to allow that liquid to filter through the funnel until the tube is filled up to the five milliliter line that's embossed on the side. It's important not to try to hurry this step either. You don't want to squeeze the funnel or try to push the liquid through faster than its natural speed. Just allow, allow it to filter at its own pace. Okay, when you've reached the five milliliter line, you can go ahead and remove the filter funnel and any excess liquid. We're now gonna prepare the titration burette. Hold it straight up and down and flick the tip of the burette to move any air bubbles to the back. Next, take the white plunger You'll notice the ball end will fit into the back of the burette. There's a rubber gasket with a hole, and you should feel this engage and click into place. Next, you can twist the plastic tab off the tip of the burette. The titration burette will now screw into the top of test tube 2. Once secured, you can crack that bottom colored ampule in test tube two and shake it for 10 seconds. Now you want to start dispensing titrant dropwise and mixing between each drop. And you'll notice that the color of the solution might change a little bit until you mix it and the color will fade away. You're looking for a color change from that yellow opaque color to purple, but you don't want to overshoot the endpoint. Refer to the color chart and the instructions for what I'm talking about here. You just want it to turn purple and stay purple after mixing. So right now we're at the pre end point. One more drop should do it. There we go. Perfect. Now you can unscrew the titration burette and read the results right off the side of the burette. You want to read the results from the bottom of the black plunger. You can see that this particular test is about 1400 parts per million. Next take the disposal ampule, place it into test tube two. You can then reinsert the titration burette, screw it on, and dispense any remaining liquid. And then break the disposal ampule to make the mercury insoluble.